Good morning, Gillsburg. We're so glad you could join us again by watching our videos on Facebook and YouTube. We ask that you keep doing this and uh, be sure to check back in Wednesday night for our midweek uh, devotion and announcements as well. I want to remind you that this weekend uh, to prepare yourself for the potential hurricanes. We're in hurricane season. Uh, we have a storm that may be coming through our area this weekend, and we just want to remind you to please prepare yourself uh, be aware of it and keep your family uh, safe. I want to remind you that your prayer list gets emailed out to you each Wednesday. If you have any updates to that prayer list, please email the church email address or call the church number and leave a message and, uh, and tell us what updates we need to make and we'll get that emailed out to you each week on Wednesdays. I want to remind you that our website is updated. There's some pictures there, some drop down boxes. Uh, if you want to uh, visit our website and check that out and look at that. And then also want to remind you at this time about our online giving. Uh, you can give on our website uh, or you can text give to our Gillsburg giving number or feel free to continue to mail your checks here to the Gillsburg Baptist Church mailing address. I believe that's all our announcements this morning. We're so glad you could join us again. And now I'm going to turn it over to Brother Doug. Thank you, Brother Austin. Scripture says, give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and wonderful deeds for me. And we're going to sing hymns this morning about his love and grace. Think about his love as I call to worship. Good morning, everyone. It is so good to be back where I belong. I still miss all of you, and I can't wait to see you all. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what we see and what we don't see. I've got two pair of shoes here. Well, one pair of shoes, two shoes. We're going to pretend that one shoe is Mr. Tommy, and we're going to pretend that one shoe is Miss Lawanda. Now, what looks different about Mr. Tommy's shoe? He's all dirty and got stuff all over it, doesn't he? Miss Lawanda's all clean and pristine and chartreuse green shoe. Well, this dirt all over Mr. Tommy's shoe is sin. We know what sin is. It's lying, it's cheating, it's not minding your mom and daddy, it's um, cheating on a test, it's doing all kinds of things. Now, Miss Lawanda doesn't have any sin on her shoe, does she? But you know what? She does. We could, Mr. Everybody could just see this sin on this shoe, but Miss Lawanda has sin just as much as Mr. Tommy's shoe does. Everybody just can't see it, but you know what? God sees it just as much as this dirty shoe as he does on this clean shoe. And all we have to do in order to get a clean shoe is to ask God for forgiveness. And there's not anything that God won't forgive if we simply ask in earnest, if we say, God, please, I'm sorry. You know, repentance is just making a complete circle and looking at sin the same way that God looks at it. Sometimes we think, oh, that's not a very big sin. But a sin is a sin. And when we do something against God and how he um, wants us to live, that's a big sin. And although people can see a lot of our sins, people don't see all our sins, but God sees 
the good and the bad. He sees everything that we do. So remember, even if your mom or your daddy or sister, your brother, Miss Lawanda, who doesn't know about your sin, God knows about it. So we need to remember, we need to ask for forgiveness, and that's just simply by saying and meaning it, not just saying it, but meaning it and saying, God, please forgive me for this, and I will try my very best not to do it. And next time you go to do that, try to remember. Because all of us sin. I sin, Brother Vic sins. Everybody sins. But we have to ask for forgiveness, and that's what God died on the cross for, was to save us from our sins so we wouldn't have to carry those with us. Thank you for, for being with me this morning, and now let's bow for our heads in prayer. Lord, we thank you for that cross that you died on in order that we may come to you and ask you for forgiveness. I pray that each boy and girl that's hearing this, Lord, will remember this each time they go to do something. Even though nobody sees it, we know you see it, God. And help us to remember that we, you love us, you forgive us, you want the very best for us. And that's why you don't want us to sin, Lord. You don't want us to have to go through bad things because sin always has consequences, and consequences sometimes are not fun, but always consequences are come about. So I thank you for each boy and girl that's listening. I can't wait to get back with them, Lord, and I just pray for our country right now, Lord, that you will put your hand upon us, that you will let each one of us know that you're there with us and that you're still in control no matter what we go through, no matter what happens in this country any longer, Lord. You are still King of kings and Lord of lords. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Warden. In John 1, it says, We all have received grace after grace from his fullness. Come thou fount of every blessing. Come thy fount of every blessing. Tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing. Call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, sung by flaming tongues above. Praise the mount I fixed upon it, mount of thy redeeming love. Oh, to grace how great a debtor. I know the first hymn we always think about when we sing about his love and grace, his amazing grace. Let's sing three stanzas of that. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Grace has brought me 
something for us. Be thou my vision, open my eyes, Lord. But I love the part where it says, open our ears that we might listen. A few years ago, Miss One and I took a few days off, and we went to Gulf Shores. And we, on that Sunday, we went and visited a uh, church, First Baptist Gulf Shores. And the facility didn't look like it was a real big church, so we went in. And that day, they had a guest uh, speaker. He was an evangelist. His name was Sammy Gilbreth, and he opened up his portion of the service with a video with the Tim McGraw song, Live Like You Were Dying. And it talks about Rocky Mountain climbing and skydiving and it shows somebody skydiving and we looked closer and it was actually him. I don't think he wrote a, tried to write a bull named Fu Manchu. <laughs> but uh, he was diagnosed with cancer and he was telling his story and uh, he said that uh, after his diagnosis and by the time he was getting ready to start his treatments and things, he was really feeling down, having his quiet time. And he just told the Lord, that I, I need your grace, Lord, I need your grace. And he said it was as if it was an audible voice. The God answered him and says, my grace, I do not give it in advance. I only give it when you need it, and it's always sufficient. So that's why we want to sing another song this morning about his grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. 
I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. My chains are gone, I've been set free, my God, my Savior has ransomed me, and like a flood, His mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. promise good to me His word my hope secures He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures My chains are gone My Savior has ransomed me, and like a flood, His mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. My chains are gone, I've been set free. God, my Savior, has ransomed me, and like a flood, His mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. shall soon dissolve like snow, the sun forbear to shine, but God who called me here below will be Father in heaven, we just thank you for your amazing grace and your love for us every day. We ask a special blessing on Brother Vic now as he brings your message. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.